Is anybody really surprised that WWE Raw's ratings tanked the other night on Raw? Is anybody really that surprised about this? I mean, you you led the show by saying, you know, as I mentioned as I mentioned yesterday on Twitter, the minute it happened, you started the show off by saying, tonight in the main event, it's going to be boring Corbin versus Roman Reigns. Wow. I really want to watch Roman Reigns wrestle Baron Corbin, said nobody ever. In fact, I bet people are out there that would give you $10 a month to make sure stuff like that doesn't happen. But uh, anyway, that's what we got. It was dumb. It made people almost immediately tune into Monday Night Football. I'm actually surprised that the Raw rating is as high as it is. Uh... August 27th, you did a 2.8. <laughs> you you got to love WWE. Uh, listen, how do I know your product better than you, WWE? I said that soon you wouldn't do 3 million viewers average anymore. You would slip to 2. And obviously, we're on pace now to start to being averaging about 2.5 next year. So if next year is 2.5, then the, the year after that, we project... That 2019 will be a year of a lot of 2.6s and 2.7s and maybe 2.5s. And a year of 2020 would then slip down to 2.3s, 4s, 2s, 1s, and possibly even in, is slipping into the 2 million category or the 1.9. Uh, and then the year after that, 2021, you could be in the 1.9 million category with a dwindling viewership because the week to week product is awful. So um, the height of the year was during WrestleMania time and Raw 25, which was from January up until about April 16th, April 23rd, when the show flirted with 3 million to 3.5 million. Uh, But we knew it would drop, and it certainly has more than ever. So 2.8 the last few weeks, 2.7 last week, and a 2.6 the night after a pay-per-view. That is unbelievable. I don't think you guys understand. The night after a pay-per-view normally is a spike in viewership, right? There's always usually 300,000 to 500,000 more people watching the night after a pay-per-view. There's usually at least a little more. So this is the night after a pay-per-view, right? Last week did 2.7. The go-home show that everybody knows sucks, 2.7. 2.7. This week, it dropped to 2.6, whatever. And you led the show off by announcing Baron Corbin versus Roman Reigns. And you did a bunch of crap that didn't matter. And you're surprised the rating dropped. I can't believe that. It's no surprise that we're getting reports that the arena tonight for SmackDown is severely tarped off. Because the fact of the matter is, because the shows are a little too similar... How how Monday Night Raw goes, so does SmackDown. Because a, a wrestling fan starts the, starts the week on Monday, sees what happens, and says, F this, and turns it off, and watches SmackDown. Or, or doesn't watch SmackDown. So therefore, you can expect a very low score tomorrow for SmackDown. You can expect, even though SmackDown is going to be better than Raw tomorrow, most likely SmackDown's going to be, or tonight rather, SmackDown's going to be better than Raw tonight, but you have two tarped off areas, the entire balcony is tarped off from what we understand, or at least the first half of it, and uh, it is very bad, very bad looking right now based on the photos, we'll talk about that in the next video, I'm going to put the photos up, we'll talk about SmackDown, but uh, there's your Raw viewership, it's garbage. And it's no surprise with this type of week-to-week show uh, that is abysmal. So you can keep making all the money you want and putting on shows in Saudi Arabia and going to Australia and doing all these other things to actually make you more money than you've ever made before. But the fact of the matter, the week-to-week product, according to North America and um, UK and places like that, uh, it's, it's awful. And they continue to not listen. And they continue to not write a week-to-week television that isn't some of the worst out there. Some of the worst 
television available is WWE right now, which is crazy to me to think, but it is. See you, see you in a few. More stuff, guys. If you're new to the channel, make sure you hit that sub button down below. If you missed my Undertaker Top 5 Undertaker Rivals uh, video, that's popping up now for you. And uh, we'll see you then. I'm going to be talking about Captain Marvel and my reactions to that on Patreon in a little bit. So look for that also.